I think we did what three examples last time all three were the sources were independent I know I'm supposed to talking about super node here but I'll wait on that let me just do one example where you have a dependent source first then I'll go to the super node so let's look at this circuit I have a source of 15 amp, independent source. One ohm. And let's put a dependent source here. And this is a dependent current source pointing upward with the value of three times I. Bless you. There's a resistor here of 3 ohm. There is another resistor up there of 2 ohm. And this current coming down is I. So this value of the current source depends on that current. And the circuit is like this. And the question is, find Vx. And let me define Vx. Should be a red pen. I don't have a red one here today. So, but this is what Vx. They want to know what is this one. So when I look at that, not counting the ground, because there's one node that's the ground. That's this node. All of this connected together. This is your ground. Not counting that node. So all of this is the ground. If you don't count that node, how many nodes do you see left there? Two. two. There's one here and there's one on the top. So you're going to have two equations by two unknowns. That's it. That will let you know how many equations by how many unknowns. So this node here, nobody knows what the voltage there is called V1. All of this is one node. And this is the other node, V2. I'm making them like visible there by stripping all over them. So I have V1, V2, and the ground. And again, you can assign current any direction that you want. So I can say, you know what? I'm going to make this current coming down, the value I1. I'm going to call this current in this direction I sub 3. I hate all that writing on it. It looks ugly, you know? All these here. I'm attempting to change it, redraw it. It bugs me. 